scrapbookers. Today we're going to be making this layout, which uses three um, photos and three Project Life type cards. And this is layout number five in my um, self imposed challenge of making nine layouts from a homemade kit. So go get your stuff. Let's start scrapbooking. Hey, scrapbookers. I'm back. It's Katie. And I am going to, I think this is going to be number five. So in this, um, I have my dog Jessie here. <laughs> she can, uh, she's like, I want to make noise. Um, so I have these, bleh. <laughs> this is for number five in a series that I'm doing with a kit that was inspired by this little six by six paper pack. So I made the kit myself and I got to tell you, I just got on <laughs> over at Get It Scrap because I had asked, um, over at the Get It Scrap Forum, what specifically kit does everybody like? And um, so Dora Sanders is telling me about, or telling everyone about Coco Daisy. And so I went and looked over there, and blah, blah, blah. You know, like it's so easy to get off on a tangent, isn't it? And then I thought, I looked at the kit and I thought, I don't, you know, I don't think I'm. I don't know. I'm, I'm so on the fence about getting one. I should just get one and just not worry about it, but I don't know. Something's stopping me. <laughs> so anyways, I thought, well, maybe if I just look at the design team inspiration, and then that led on a whole nother trail. So <sighs> anyway, that was just like a whole lot of um, time spent and not a lot accomplished. Sorry to say. Okay, so then during my last, the, when I was looking at my last layout, or doing that one, I was thinking it might be fun to put together like a Project Life type page that was like a grid, but with um, some of the photos. So, because I, start, I started thinking like, oh, I've got all these photos and hmm, what's going to be the easiest way to do it? So if I do it, I know, this way. Can you hear my dog? She came in and now she's like giving herself a bath. <laughs> it's um, she doesn't, you know how some dogs are always like, they're always doing that. She doesn't do it right all the time. I said right because that's said right now. Um, but yeah, she's doing that right now. <laughs> okay. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to set this page up. But here's... I guess if I had my math brain on, that might work better, but I don't. My math brain is spent. So there's a column. And then, let's see. I'm just trying to think if I... can do it like... <laughs> Why am I so confused? Um, Seems like they either need to go that way or just have some more vertical ones that will be like let's not mix them up kind of thing. So maybe these this will be Mac on spring break because he's so silly. And then here he is again. So I could just do like the band. That's easy. Seeing if those are really the ones I want. Yeah, I think that will work. Um, just put the photos over there. So. So silly. Um, and again, I'm using the back side of an old <laughs> basic gray P 
paper. Maybe I should use the front side. Let's see. That's not bad, actually. It's kind of nature-y, you know? It's pretty dark, though, huh? I'm thinking, yeah, let's not use the the white side of this because that is pretty dark and frankly ugly. And then we're just gonna lay these three down and not think about it. Nope. Okay, so I always like to do this. <laughs> Give it a little movement there. So one more card. You are so smart. That's funny. You are so smart. <laughs> um, yeah, so then I thought, as I was looking at all those kit clubs, I was thinking maybe a great idea would be just to look at who's on the design teams and then, like, get inspiration from them. I think that's totally a good way to go. But then that also kind of leads you on this long journey of finding inspiration. And then guess what? Then when that happens, you're not really scrapbooking. So maybe one more card that's going to be the horizontal orientation. Who likes and dislikes? That might be fun. Okay, and the colors work. Let's stop there. <laughs> um... All right, that will work. Let's start nailing this stuff down. Um, and then we're going to watch a dinosaur movie. It's called Walking with Dinosaurs in 3D. And we do, our TV is can be a 3D TV. So my son really likes that. Yep, spring break road trip. So now I'm just lining them up because, you know, we all have so many of those little Project Life or journaling cards, right? You know you have like five gazillion of them. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I bet you do too. How's the lighting? I feel like my room is darker. I don't know why. Like, I don't... It, lately, I feel like my videos have been looking pretty dark. And I did get a comment that one lady commented today that she couldn't hear. And I hadn't gotten that comment before. So I would be interested to know if you like the volume or not. Like, how's the volume? I know sometimes if I'm filming and I'm doing the laundry, that's a problem. Um, but, uh, otherwise, I'm not sure if, if I was doing that in that particular video, but she said I was, she was really having trouble hearing, and then I watched the same video, and I didn't have any trouble hearing it at all, like, I thought the volume was totally fine, so, let me know if you have any trouble hearing. That would be interesting to know. Okay, but I do think, I really do, that if I belong to a kid club, that I would scrapbook faster, because then I would really try to limit myself to the what came in the kid club, and then I think it would be fun 
to post in the gallery. And I looked at the Coco Daisy gallery and it did look like, you know, if you're going to be posting in those galleries, it's unlike, remember, to the Two Peas gallery, you could post, you know, layouts with pro any kind of project that you have. You know, it didn't matter. It didn't have to be from the store. Like, it should have been, but it didn't have to be. Okay, so this is interesting because it's not going all the way across. So I'm going to have to just trim that down a little bit. Which is fine because some of my page protectors I have to trim a little down anyways. So I'm okay with that. But I think that that is sort of interesting. Like if you look in a kit club store gallery, everything in there is going to be from the kits. Interesting, huh? Um, whereas... Like it get it scrapped, it can be it's it's everything. It's like old supplies and digital supplies and paper supplies, anything you want. And they don't care about where products came from. Just gonna trim that edge off. Oh my my guillotine cutter is a little temperamental these days. Okay, so there we go. Ta-da. And then let's see if we can just carry the theme a little bit. Getting these little tickets, tickety things on the top. Tickety things. I really like that for a word. And, yep, so I'm going to just do one of those little top, the topper and the bottomer, <laughs> the header and the footer and the pattern paper. It's like a fun little trend I like, and it's easy to accomplish. Give it a double up. And you can really, I think you can get away with doing it with um, two pieces. Uh, like, you really, even with that little ridge in the middle, you can, I don't think you really notice it. I don't think anybody's looking. <laughs> and then I pulled this. Let's see if that will fit. Well, I don't think I want that color. I want to kind of keep in the same color scheme, but I've gone, this is orange and I've added yellow, so that probably wasn't a great idea. Hold on. I'm back. Um, let me see what else I have. Okay, let's not go, let's just go fast. Um, so I want either blue or maybe a little of the red. Yeah, this doesn't have orange. How funny. Seems like it should, huh? Let me see if I pulled out any orange. have this. It's pretty close. I'm not sure that's going to... There we go. Yeah, that's even more of a problem over here. Hmm. Whoops. <laughs> what can I do? So what I can do to kind of fix that is if it's not going all the way across, I can kind of cut it here and then put some kind of embellishment-y thing. You like how I just add Y's to words? There we go. And then let's do the bottom half. So 
So I'm thinking like a blue. That darker blue. I wonder too if I could look back at these and find one of these little cards that had, yeah, that has blue. And just cut it and then do it across the bottom. Because I think that could work. I'll steal that one. I think that will go all the way across. I think it might. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, won't he cut it? And then straight cut it, like about the same height, so there. Maybe I don't always speak up. I think I might mutter to myself a certain amount, you think? <laughs> I'm sure I do. So something like this. And then just one more. One can be just cut like wonky. And now I'll do this across the bottom. So I'm picturing like a darker blue underneath it. So I don't know if that dinosaur movie is like super for kids or if we're going to all enjoy it. My son doesn't like anything with racy content, which is nice. He's a nice kid, actually. That doesn't work up there. Maybe it works up here. No. He's a nice kid. Okay. I want a big strip of like royal blue. Royal blue, where are you? Oh, actually, how about this? I know that doesn't totally match, but it matches the color in that. Look at the back of this. At one point I thought, oh, if you buy striped paper, that's the smartest thing you can do. But when it's like these colors, maybe it's not. <laughs> so wonky cutting, like intentionally not cutting it straight. This bottom piece here, just so we have a little something to look at. On the bottom there. So yeah, I'm trying to hurry so that we can do the movie night thing with my son. Okay. Legs. <laughs> too long, or dislikes, too long car rides. Smokers in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, he disliked two long car rides, smokers in Nashville. Um, trying to remember what else, remember what else he didn't like about the trip. Um, I don't know. I can't really think of anything. Um, lakes. I'm going to look at the... Making me and Allison laugh. Playing outside, cold weather, um, 
Oh. My daughter got a facial. <laughs> Felt city like. They both liked our Springfield Hotel. Oh, and where is this place? I'm gonna call it Bill Jackson's, but I don't think it's Bill Jackson's. It's like a big sporting bass pro shops. And then dislikes. Um I don't know. I have to ask him what else he didn't like. I think he liked just about everything. Okay, notes. This was spring break. This, well, it's our spring break, 2014. Mac was in sixth grade. <laughs> um, was in serious violation of the haircut rule, but I love his hair. Mason has the best hair. Um, so thick. Just gonna cross this out and write more likes. Candy store in Nashville was seeing Auntie Jen. Um, what else can I tell you? I don't know what else to say. <laughs> um, not funny. I really don't know. I should just ask him. So I'm going to ask him what else to write here because I actually, I can't think of anything. Okay, I'm back. And so now I'm really feeling like, oh, I've spent way too much time. Um, so I need to finish up for reals. So let's just do a tiny bit of more embellishing. Not a ton, just a little. And because we got to cover up this up here. So, I'm just grabbing what's handy. Let's see about this. I'm just using this for the color. Because I get the blue here. I guess that works. And now I just want a little something up here. It doesn't have to be stupendous. Maybe just like, would that work? A little tag up here. 
that maybe just said 2014. Does that work? I think it does. And I'm going to put a little brat in there. Make Debbie Hodge happy. She's always joking that, just put a brat on it. Like if somebody hasn't put a, enough embellishments on the page. It's become a joke. At the, um, she does office hours with her Get It Scrapped Masterful Scrapbook Design teachers. And gosh, sometimes it's harder than you would think to put a brat on it. Um, <laughs> Trying to find the right color. I guess I could use white, but I don't really want to. I know I could color it, but here we here's this is an orange one. This will work. Okay. Um yeah, she says put a brat on it quite a bit. You know, I really should go through these and just get rid of this stupid um eyelets that I never use. I know they're not taking up that much space, but I still have to go through them. You know, and like sort through them all. Or I should master the, um, the crocodile, but <laughs> get real. That's never going to happen. I've had it, I've had those brads for, or the little eyelets for a gazillion years. And, um, watch, I'll try. I have a little one right there. I'll, we'll practice. I'll show you. That will do, if I can do that one successfully. Then I'll keep some eyelets and put them on a layout. If I can't, then I will purge them. Okay? And I'll show you what I'm going to purge. Okay. There's a little daily gig. And now I need tiny little letters for the year. So without going too far, I found them. Do I want to put them in black? No, I don't think so. How about the blue? The blue will work. 2,000. And this was 14. Anyway, I guess what I was telling you before was I started looking at different design teams. Um and seeing if maybe I wanted to look for inspiration from the kit club design teams, like not sign up for a kit club, but just look. And honestly, like, I think either you subscribe and then use that as inspiration or just pick it up on Pinterest and it's going to be a lot easier because it's kind of a, you've got to like figure out how to navigate all of the, um, you know, He's not going to like this, but I want to write, hey, handsome, because he is such a little cutie. Look at how cute he is. <laughs> it would be funnier down here, because he's being, like, all goofy. doesn't work, does it? Who cares? It's okay. Maybe we'll just Okay, this is kind of coming out of nowhere, but there's this sticker that says you're amazing. It is in orange, and it's like the sun, like the rays are coming down in this picture. And I just kind of want to, I don't know, I just want that in there somehow, some way. Plus, it's nice to tell your kids. They are amazing. Is that weird? That's a little weird, isn't it? Maybe just right here on this little journaling card.
All right, I love his hair. I just write the rest of it now. And I love this boy. He is so clever and kind and funny and curious and bright. I love you. Love, Mom. Okay, there we go. That works. I kind of want to put one more thing like right here so there's no white space here and then you look up there and then there's no white space up there. So I'm just looking for like one little taggy sort of a thing. Not a big deal, just a little, a little something. A little something not overwhelming. And within the color scheme. All right, I maybe can do just these little clouds. That might work. Nope, not really. And it was not the best day ever. Goodness sakes, I write that all the time. Best day ever. <laughs> Use your superlatives in a meaningful way, people. Um, let's go back to these little pads and see if there's like one more little thing that I can maybe cut out. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I think I might have, yeah. I've got stickers from Basic Ray here. Oh, that's good. Happy. Happy is good. Oh, it doesn't really... Uh, it doesn't really fit there. The happy boy instead of hey boy. And then I still need a little something in there. Another best day ever. <laughs> I guess they think scrapbookers have a lot of fun, huh? We're having the best day ever, like every day. All right. I need just a little more something up there just to fill in that gap. I mean, I don't need it, but I think it would be good see what else we got. Just to fill in this little spot of white space right here. I just want to cover it up. Maybe put this one down here because these are like little travel. Now I'm going to need even a little bit more. I'm making this harder for myself. Grr. Maybe I should not have done that. <laughs> Change my mind. Um, ticking. Hold on. And I'm back. So maybe this is why. There's like one person, or maybe more than one, but there's at least one person who, as soon as I post my videos, they thumbs down it. <laughs> maybe this is why. Oh, maybe these old weird 
looking. Maybe there's some orange in here because there's orange right here, but it's not going to take up enough of that space. And that's just too weird. This is cute though. But nothing is going to fit. Oh, the absolute awesomeness. That could work. See that? And it's in, um, I don't think it is going to work. It doesn't. Grr. I do like those stickers, though. Um, man alive. This complicated. Oh, nope. So this one's good. It doesn't totally match, but it just says love you always. So I like that for this page. Gosh, how do you get in there? I guess I washi taped this up. To close it. Oh, there we go. This is getting super duper crazy, isn't it? Let's maybe start again a little bit. Not all the way. Okay, so I kind of like this idea. Hey boy. Love you always. That's better. This should go under, I think under the photos, but over that, so there, yeah, ta-da, yep. okay, so we'll skip the happy, nice sentiment, but not for this page, and that's done. I think that's done. Feels like it needs one more thing right here, doesn't it? Alright, here's the little map sticker. Nice. Change your mind. All right. There we go. Ta-da. Done. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. I bet you thought I forgot. I did. But I was going to try the eyelet trick. Here's a crocodile. Here's an eyelet. Here's a piece of packaging. So, you put the little eyelet thing, oh gosh, how do you even do this? You go like, what do you do? You go with this thing, so we're going to put this on the skinny one, and then I didn't put the little backer thing on. I don't really know. Need, mm, I don't know if you need it. See, it doesn't even stay on. So that was a fail. Let's try it again. Let's try it.
try another eyelet. There's another eyelet. Okay. So I'm even going to stick this in the little eyelet hole that I just made. So it's already there. And now I am going to stick the backer thing on the back. And then, see it's already annoying. I am going to line this up. Oh yeah, this is super annoying. Why did we ever think this was a good idea? You know, my grandfather had this old fashioned one that like actually worked for, it was like a press. I have it um, somewhere here at the house. Here, let's try this one. We called them grommets though. Not eyelets. Oh, that doesn't seem like it worked. <laughs> so that's how that worked out. It kind of like stuck to my crocodile in a bad way. That was a fail. Okay. So there you go. I'm gonna purge my eyelets. I promise. And that's all for tonight. Good night. So the eyelets in here, I'm gonna put them in a little plastic baggie and they are gonna go away. But I'm not gonna do that right away because that'll take a little bit. But I'm gonna keep the brads, get rid of the eyelets. Bye bye.